Hello, welcome back. So, we're going to talk about today what's the right way to install a wear plate. This is a Schwing WP750 pump, concrete pump, and we are replacing the wear plate. And the old wear plate is over here. It is worn, and there's a crack in it right there. Now, that crack just goes to the bolt hole, so it's probably okay, but this wear plate is worn out. So we're gonna replace, I have my new cutting ring right there. But what we're gonna talk about right now is a proper way to install wear plates. Now, wear plates are made out of a very hard, but very brittle metal. And I've heard of a lot of guys, a lot of mechanics who try to do this, you know, try to do this themselves, and they try to put the wear plate on and they end up cracking the wear plate. The plate will crack here, you know, you know, one, one of these spots because they didn't properly clean the surface behind it. Sorry, the surface behind it. You have to clean, thoroughly clean the hopper of all of the material behind the wear plate. The wear plate, sorry, again, sorry. The wear plate cannot bend. It is, it doesn't want to bend at all. It won't bend, it'll break. So when you're putting on a wear plate, make absolutely certain that the hopper between the wear plate and the hopper, this area in between there is perfectly clean. Get your needle scaler, get your wire brush, get in there, spend some time, make that clean so that there's nothing holding the wear plate, holding the wear plate out. If you have, you know, so much as a little piece of material in here, in there, holding this wear plate out, it will break, I promise. And since these wear plates are in the area of $1,000 each, you don't wanna go breaking those every day. So what we have, so we have two, two big bolts that hold this wear plate on. There's that one and that one. On the front of these bolts is, uh, I have a, a pair of vice grips holding a big old nut. But anyway, so this is how you can kind of tell if you're doing it right. So a big old wrench right here. And I'm almost tight here, but I'm still loose. I'm just moving this wrench with my fingers. I'm still loose. How this should go is that it should be loose and then suddenly tight. There should be no gathering. There should be no getting tighter, getting tighter, getting tighter. It should be loose and then tight. Just just like that. There, there really there should be no gathering. So anyway, this is how it should it should go. Again, we're pretty pretty loose here. So I'm turning it. It's loose, it's still loose, bam, and I'm tight. That's, that's how it should go. <laughs> I could maybe get another eighth of a turn out of that, but, um, and, and I will, I'll, I'll torque it to, I'll figure out what the torque is supposed to be. I don't know what it's supposed to be off the top of my head, but that's how it should go. That's how it should feel. It should be loose and then suddenly tight. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, stay tuned for more helpful hints. Have a good one.